So there's been a lot of people talking about Bob Ross lately, so I wanted to do a video um, in his style today. Basically, I'm just going to talk and go over something while I'm um, painting on my canvas, which happens to be Ableton. Um, today I want to talk about fear, and I want to talk about um, prejudice of the self and, and the, the, the judgment of your own thoughts as... You know what I'm saying? Like perceiving yourself as something less than um, what you're actually capable of. And just the fear that drives people to, I guess, just, you know, the fear that keeps people from doing things. I'm just going to edit around all the parts where I'm not talking because there's no way I'm going to be able to talk while I'm, the whole time I'm making the song, right? <laughs> Yeah, like, there's fear. There's fear in all of our hearts, and it keeps us from doing stuff that might otherwise... It, it, it stays within and tells us that we're not able. It tells us that we're not good enough, that we can't do that thing we want to do or that thing we think we can do. It's, it's, it's not... It's, it's not a real, it's a real emotion, but it's not reality. Like, for instance, there's fear that keeps me from making this segment, right? I, I Normally, I, I don't make, like, experimental segments where I'm, like, thinking to myself, oh, I'll change it up today, I'll do something different. But it's just, ever since I got back from tour, that fear that was in my heart isn't there anymore. Um, it's just not, like... I'm not so afraid of trying a new thing as I used to be. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a I'm making a track. I'm not really sure what it's gonna be at the moment. I haven't really started with an idea in mind, but I just you know started tapping out some things on the keyboard and we'll see what happens. And I'm not gonna be afraid of what the result might be. Three, four. Yeah, so it's stuff like that fear of failure, right? Maybe that's what keeps us all from doing the things we ought to. And then we're going to pan one of these to the left a bit. And the other one's going to go to the right a bit. Just so we have a little bit more stereo field because your ears don't like everything to be right down the middle, right? you got to have things to the left and to the right. Cool. Now we're going to group these two, we call them the keyboards, and we're going to glue them together a little bit with a teeny bit of compression. Give them a little bit of warmth with a little bit of room reverb, probably some ambience. Perfect. Sometimes that fear will come up while you're writing. Because you're thinking to yourself, oh man. I can't go anywhere from here. I'm afraid of ruining it. But you got to realize that we weren't anywhere before we started this. So by virtue of the fact that we were continuing forward, we've done something. The fear is unfounded. By virtue of the fact that you try, you're proving that fear wrong. Because that fear tells you you're not going to do anything. That fear tells you you're not worth anything. But by just simply starting, you're conquering that fear. Let's get a nice kick sample. All right, these have a weird, a weird tail on them, so we're just gonna get rid of that because it's got a, it's got a pop in there, and our ears, our ears really don't like that. Our ears want these smooth tones, these smooth sounds. We don't really like violent sounds, you know. Like, violence is never the answer, even with music. What I'm going to do with these two tracks is send them to a return track to serve as a room. So I'm going to create a room out of this return track. And what I mean by that um, is I'm going to uh, 
get an, a reverb plug-in. I might use, so let's use ambience medium again. I'm kind of a sucker for default. So ambience medium, we're gonna cut this down to um, 50%. What we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce the kick and the snare into this ambient room that we just created here with the return. <laughs> Now both of these are a little too loud, so we're going to take these down to like negative six, I think. What I'm going to do is pan this a little bit to the left and pan the snare a little bit to the right. Too much. There we go. See, the good thing about audio programs is that you can test something out you can compare it to how it was, and you can reset it if you want to, it's very easy. So you don't have to be afraid of making a change because you can change it right back. All right, kick and snare. So what I'm gonna do with these is actually apply a little bit of compression to each. Uh, for the kick, I'm gonna use glue and figure out where that formant hits. Right there, like negative 32. I'm gonna see if release sounds better a little bit more or less. Same thing with the snare. Now I'm going to treat these a little bit with some EQ8, starting with the kick. I want to get Fab Filter eventually, but I don't have the money right now. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to figure out where about 60 hertz and bump it. Got a little bit of some high frequencies that I'm not a huge fan of, so I'm going to turn them down just a touch. Sounds a little better. Now let's get the snare in here. We really want to pop these high frequencies out, so. I like that. Now what I need is a, a nice ride cymbal sample. What I'm doing here is putting my own swing in there because I don't like to use the grooves anymore. It doesn't get what I'm trying to get out of it. Because I want it to be off, but I don't want it to be ugly. And I don't want it to be robotic. I want it to be off. And now we're going to turn this way down. And I want another sample in here and what I'm going to use is a little bit of some white noise, a little bit of some and for this alright so we're going to treat this a little bit too good and here I'm going to stick a sidechain compressor on this so I can duck it when the kick hits. Listen to this. Pretty cool, right? And you see, if I had stuck with that fear, if the fear had stuck with me, I would never have gotten this far. There's no need to fear. If you've got something you need to do, if you've got something on your heart that you want to do, don't be afraid of that. I like the way that sounds. What we're going to add on top of this is an audio effect called multiband um, dynamics. Got a cool little um, baseline going here. Um, I want to add the same compressor to it that I did earlier to my uh, noise. So, wow, that kick isn't coming through right on the side chain. It sounds like bad. I want another kick in here. That's snappy. I like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to layer this under here. 
So you just copy exactly what the top layer is doing. All right, and then I have to make these two kicks sound good together. See, sometimes this is where fear hits me the most because I've gotten to a point where I need to make something different. But I love what I've already done and I'm, I'm comfortable with that. I'm familiar with what I've created. But I need to go out again and find something that works and complements this. It's the weirdest. I should go to the relative. Hmm. See, and it's that fear that you gotta say no. You gotta tell yourself, I'm bigger than that fear. I can make something even better. And time and time again, when that fear tells me you're not gonna make anything good, I beat that fear. And you beat that fear down and you tell it no. You tell it not today. You tell it that you're in charge. So for sub two, that's another subwoofer that I'm gonna put in here. Um, I want to use a synthesizer that I made, uh, or actually a synthesizer that my buddy John Curry made a long time ago called Fallen Sign. Let me see if I can find it here. These guys are just going to trade eights. So now I've done is I've separated these two noises. I like that. sweeping melody like like it's just a really big uplifting kind of maybe it's time for some guitar so bad. Now all we gotta do is mix this down a little bit. Gotta make everything sound happy together. Gotta make everything sound like it belongs together, you know? There you have it. You gotta get rid of that fear. If you if you let that fear into your heart, you're never gonna get anything accomplished. The more reasonable, the more sound, the more great things we can accomplish as a species and, and yeah. Fear is the enemy. Not Not the people you're afraid of, it's the fear itself that's the enemy. Today is the last opportunity for you all to buy the Backspace is not delete, delete is delete shirt. Um, here's a picture of that. Only available for one last day, that's today. If you don't pick a copy up today, we will never be running this shirt again. Last chance, don't miss it. Hope you all enjoyed this song, a little relaxing tune for your Sunday. Um, my name's Gardner, I had a great time today. Um, if you like what I did today, if you enjoy what, what I make, the songs I make, consider hitting the subscribe button, um, it's right over here. And if you'd like to hear the song I just made in full, click right here. Um, if you'd like to see yesterday's episode, click up here. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon if you're feeling so gracious today, make sure you click over here.